So guys, since it's raining outside and I'm wearing this big warm sweater, I think it's time to share with you which perfumes I'll be wearing this fall season. So make sure to keep on watching if you want to find out everything about them. But before we get started, I would like to ask everyone who is new here or haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to do that because look at it, look at it. So many more people watch my channel without being subscribed to it than those who are so you guys it doesn't cost you anything and it's very easy to do that as well as give this video a thumbs up if you like watching top lists and once you're done with that we can also get started hello everyone and welcome to the video in which I will tell you which perfumes I'll be wearing in autumn 2021. You can do the same and actually I'm wondering which kind of scents do you like in the autumn, which in my personal opinion is the best season to wear perfumes overall, just because it can be so different. One day is sunny and warm and another one is rainy and cold, although it has been raining in Germany all three months of summer so who knows how the weather is going to be in the autumn time but what i know that there is a fragrance for any type of weather so i'm actually wearing all these 12 i guess fragrances on myself because i've already filmed this video a couple of times and sprayed fragrances on myself so i've experienced them throughout today from the opening till the dry down and it's actually amazing and I'm so excited to wear them even more. I realized that I prefer warm, cozy fragrances that smell comforting, which I think it's very, very understandable. Is that a word? Well, anyway, let's open this list with a perfume that was inspired by probably the most underrated fragrance from Initia Perfumes, which is my beloved Psychedelic Love. And I have its dupe kind of clone from the Italian-based brand one perfumes and in case you love niche perfumery and you would like to have a few clones of your favorite perfumes make sure to check them out i will leave a link to their website down below in the description box because their quality is amazing very affordable prices and uh, this dupe on psychedelic love smells exactly the same which is crazy and mind-blowing because i love like i love 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 this heavy powdery deep almost dark scent of ylang ylang it's slightly sweet but it is so so complex and i find it's perfect for golden autumn days you know when it's chilly but not overly cold it's so good and i like i like how it performs very much every time i wear it it's just like such a good feeling so highly recommend you guys to check out one perfumes because their fragrances are great like very very strong without being beast moody if you know what i'm talking about so for more cloudy days you know when you would rather want to stay in than go out i would wear my blind water fragrance from 4000 to 160 tuesdays which is called complicated shadows and that's because I smell tea in there and warmth so I just imagine sitting next by the fire with a blanket cup of tea and a book and just enjoy this beautiful almost like um, cinematic or bookish scenery so in here we have orris root vanilla and citruses which in combination with Tonka definitely remind me of my favorite Chalimar by Guerlain. Literally, they smell very similar, although Complicated Shadows is a bit deeper. So I like it a lot, very unisex and very autumnish, I would say. All right, guys, so if I needed to choose a note with which I would associate fall, that would be definitely patchouli of course it's one of my most favorite notes that's why many of today's fragrances will have it in them but the strongest fragrance um, with patchouli that i have and actually looking forward to wear more because i got it in the summertime and it's really not the time for <laughs> my patchouli perfumes because i love to wear sweet almost candy like vanilla scents um, during the summertime and in fall 
during fall I love patchouli actually I hope it's not too disturbing that I mix fall and autumn words in this video but let's talk about this real patchouli by Bois 1920 because it smells woody warm beautifully aromatic and truly patchouli -ish. and I can tell you that if you love patchouli like I do oh my god this is scent of expensive chocolatey warm niche perfume you know like that vibe of just expensive fragrance that's patchouli that does the trick and if you like this note i have a whole top list dedicated to it and in case you're interested in this particular fragrance you can purchase it from so avant-garde web shop which is an amazing place if you are looking for new fragrances and i also have a discount for you and you can save your money with it so just check out the link down below so for the time when i'll go out and would want to feel sexy i would wear something with the leather probably because i think about my leather jacket it's new it's cool and my most favorite leather fragrance in my collection that i actually enjoy to wear because you might remember from my leather video it's not necessarily my most favorite note but i am a huge fan of this almost dangerously seductive scent that is called luz candelus and it is from the french indie brand anatole laverton who creates very very nice perfumes and just in case you love vintage Mitsoko and you want a fragrance like it that's it because it smells of dirty tube rose leather castorium oak moss so that's like its dark side and it has ylang ylang and peach skin note with bergamot and it's kind of like a sunny <laughs> ray of light in this pretty dirty sexy animalic seductive scent which in the dry down turns so almost nutty i love it it's strong it's bold it's for the lovers of vintage perfumes and uh for those who want a fragrance in the style of a leather jacket if you know what i'm talking about but also during the fall time many people are depressed just because the weather changes and all of that so i would really recommend to wear something uplifting that will make you feel happy and of course gourmand fragrances are best for that and i will be reaching out for my baklava by pearlescent perfumes anytime i just feel down and i want something that will lift me up because this is dessert in a bottle because it smells of honey baklava but in the opening there is vibe of blooming trees and that's of course very very springy so it's juicy it's oh, oh i love it so very much you cannot even imagine how beautiful it is wow this is true stunner strong delicious sweet but not sticky scent of powder almond of beautiful vanilla pistachio neroli cherry of course patchouli but also citruses and honey that's like beautiful yellowish and orangey trees on the leaves of the trees you know what i'm talking about anyway baklava very very good scent uh, very happy scent and i think happiness is really what uh, many people need during the summertime uh fall time oh my god sorry but you got me right but let's get back to the patchouli world shall we and i want to talk to you about the most mysterious fragrance with patchouli that i can call esoteric and i'm talking about origin story by sarah horitz perfumes which wow just wows me every time and grounds me you will find your center and inner peace with this fragrance my mom loves it very much the amber the musk the vanilla the patchouli with the woods in this fragrance they will make any fall day so much better than it is so i'm a big fan of this fragrance which i only wear in the fall time because I associated with it and that's why I'm actually excited for the upcoming three months because I can finally wear it and with that being said I want to move on to the design of fragrance which is the only one today which makes it very special and it's the newest flanker of the best feminine fragrance from a designer brand for women in my personal opinion Linda D by Givenchy and it's Roche Edition. Not only it looks absolutely fabulous, but you 
guys it has such delicious sweetness to it that's a little bit spicy because we have blood orange and ginger as well as pimento leaf that's kind of exotic and then of course signature tuber rose jasmine patchouli plate but still it is juicy and although there is officially no vanilla in there maybe it's vanilla illusion that i smell but i smell it and it's easy going not overwhelming fragrance for fall time that you would want to wear with a big jumper like i have on today and stunner absolutely beautiful make sure to check it out because for me it was love at first sniff and i think the fact that i purchased her ml bottle will tell you everything but if you want more information you can actually check out my review on it and yeah this is my biggest favorite designer fragrance for fall time excited to wear it already do because i can get enough Something that I won't be wearing very often, but only to special occasions, which I'll have a few because there are going to be birthday parties in September and October and November that I'll be going to. And for that, I finally got my most favorite Killian perfume. In my opinion, it's the best from the brand and it has been on my wish list forever. So I'm so happy that finally, voulez-vous coucher avec moi, joined my collection. Because to me, it's still... A mystery in a bottle. I know what's in there. Apparently, Elena Lang, Tuberose, Gardenia, Vanilla, Rose, Sandalwood, and Cedar is what we have in this composition, but it's magic and it's strong, it's amazing. I feel so confident with this fragrance. The only thing that I'm not sure about is why I got it in a white bottle when apparently it's a black edition, but I don't mind. I just love it so very much. I save it for special occasions and 99% of the time, if it's party and I go out, that's what I wear. All right, let's talk about something more flirty and easygoing. Something that really matches fall because it's a burnt orange fragrance that is Bitter Peach by Tom Ford that uh, actually matches my outfit today so well that um, I like it even more for that. But now seriously, guys, this is a complex perfume. In the opening, there is a note of peach, blood orange, so it is juicy, but also quite velvety and powdery. And then there is heliotrope and cardamom, so it's spicy as well, but the biggest accord in here is boozy one. Out of Davana and room with cognac, I really like that vibe, especially because in the dry down there is patchouli, vanilla and woodsy notes, so it kind of reminds me of Alien by Mugler, but a bit more grown up and mature version of it. So I'm a big fan of this fragrance because it smells like fall. You never know what to expect from it, but anytime I wear it, I feel very good. So yeah, Bitter Peach, I think it's uh, one of the best fragrances you can think about when you think about fall. Okay, I want to tell you what I would be wearing on a date if I'm not into any malik mood. Because this next fragrance is very decadent, it's bold and opulent. And I'm talking about Mansara's Wild Cherry that I won't open because uh, it is twisted so hard with Benny that probably I will pour something out. But you guys, it smells sour. And I've already discussed this um, topic of taste and flavors in another video. Make sure to check it out. But I don't think that it's kind of something very common in perfumery, a sour element. And I love it in here because it smells of sour cherry that is very powdery and sweet and patchouli. -ish. It's decadent. It's, you know, a very loud but um, not aggressive perfume that I like to wear if I go out, it's a date and I just want to stand out and uh, smell like something that would turn people's heads. So yeah, I like it for uh, a bit colder days just because it's quite intense and uh, it can be a little bit too strong when it's hot, but it's not when it is chilly and uh, cool outside. Mm. They might discontinue it actually, because it smells, I would say, very original. And we all know that brands don't really appreciate when they have original perfumes. Oh. It leaks awesome. Now my hands smell real nice. Next perfume is something that I've just recently got and still experienced, but I am very excited to wear Aditlan by the brand Noem, that probably I mispronounced, that I'm showing you already in the box because 
this presentation is out of this world. You need to check out how it looks inside. Ready? Here we go. Isn't it absolutely breathtaking? I mean, like, it's such a beautiful box. And the fragrance is actually inspired by the underworld. Like, you enter the earth. And what's in there, what's underneath is crystallization, vegetation, and this whole transformation process. But although it might sound like an earthy fragrance, it's not. It's powdery because of mimosa that actually smells quite springy, and I like that a lot. And also because of patchouli and amber. Yeah, that combination of notes that I really enjoy in perfumes, especially for colder weather. It reminds me of Coco Mademoiselle, but I would say it's like a niche version of it. And it's a very elegant fragrance that is quite light, and so I think I will be wearing it to work. Next, I have a very creative scent from the brand that impressed me the most last year. It was my most favorite perfume brand discovery of 2020, which is Ilk Perfumes. And I highly recommend you check out my video in which I review the entire collection. But this fragrance, Infatuated, is very avant-garde because in there we have agarwood with the rubber, spices like pepper with saffron, many woody notes, cedarwood is the most noticeable one in here, aromatic notes of lavender and juniper, and custard with pear and apple blossom. I know, you cannot uh, even imagine how it smells, but it smells really good. Woody, spicy, aromatic, and at the same time there is something very abstractly gourmand going on. And it reminds me of fall time so much just because I think about trees losing their leaves that are falling on the ground and you play in there, you know? So if you're looking for a fragrance of falling leaves in a bottle, that's it. Look no further. It performs nicely, it changes, and its dry down is as interesting as its opening. And finally, this list wouldn't be completed without an animalic perfume. First of all, because I love animalic scents, and second of all, because I love to wear them most during the fall time. And for this video, I pulled out probably my most favorite animalic fragrance, which lots of you have already guessed, right? Because, of course, I'm talking about Foxy by DSH perfumes, because honestly, guys, nothing can beat this very warm, very sexy, sultry scent with spices, with beeswax, with peach and orange blossom, cumin, whiskey, leather, oak, thyme and apple. What else do you want? It is such a fabulous, sexy, not aggressive scent that... Um, I always wear during the fall time. It has a little bit of booze going on. It's like maybe being in a bar when it's raining outside and you're drinking whiskey and maybe dancing, sweating a little bit and really enjoy the whole mood. And with that being said, that completed this um, top list of fall fragrances I'll be wearing the upcoming couple of months. Please let me know if you have any questions left. I hope that uh, this video was helpful and interesting because I bet you do know about quite a few of these perfumes. So just in case you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up right now. And of course, subscribe to my channel. If you still haven't done that, you can activate the bell so you will be notified about my new videos. If you've already activated it, deactivate it because sometimes the system doesn't work. You can follow me on my social media and even donate to support my channel. I'm excited to hear from you. Please let me know which perfumes you'll be wearing in the autumn time 2021. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure to stay tuned and smell good. We'll see each other in the next one really soon. Bye.